What's up? Good morning. With my boy today. Got the boss with me. Our uh, Candice, what's up? Candy. Mr. Weddle. <laughs> Mr. Weddle. Oh, that's the boss. <laughs> Pray without what's happening. What's happening? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Shabaka.
we got Big John on here today, man. 6 a.m. <laughs> everybody um happy friday uh we made it made it through i know we started off with our goal just been to, you know see if we can make it to wednesday right um but we we made it to friday and so so thank god for that um thank god for another another day in general as y'all see to my left I've got my brother John with me. I told y'all he'd be on Friday, yes. and so we're just excited. We're excited to have him, um, have him in. Uh, he's a, a awesome guy, uh, one of my best friends, and and I believe as it pertains to this topic in general, um, particularly this topic of consistency, um, uh, he has played a big part in my life. Uh, in that road to 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 becoming consistent and, and what it means to to be coming out of yourself and, and to to see things in other people that help you uh, get past uh, get feeding into the idea that what is normal for you, what is what your personality brings is all that you have to offer, right? And so I think um, the 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 awesome dynamic of of our relationship is that. Um, we're we're like almost polar <laughs> opposites, right? But uh, but what what that's brought about is is the the idea that um, my way isn't the only way, and so I think a big part of of us being able to be consistent and and develop habits that go beyond um, what is natural for us it takes it takes a a, a person who is who has a totally different outlook um, approach. And so it allows you to sharpen um, and expand your idea of, of what it takes to, to be a person who's going to love, like how, how much I'm going to love. So when I love outside of my box, I'm usually becoming more like him. Wow. And right. So when he when he loves outside of his box, he's becoming more like me. And so that's the that's the awesome, the awesome thing. And so today we're really just going to recap the week. I asked my brother, who's an attentive guy. He's been listening all week and he's been taking notes. And and so we're just gonna bounce. I'm gonna bounce some questions off of him. Y'all gonna y'all gonna hear a little bit about um, his journey and being consistent and and loving and uh, and so John, man, tell him a little bit about you. What you up to right now, um, man? I am. I'm excited. Um, number one to talk to you about a topic that's pretty sensitive to me. Um, uh, consistency and being consistent is a um, is a word that my father used so, so, so much with me. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually a very scary word <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. that Pops used because anytime I was in the... Uh, I, have, I have a board basketball court in my yard. Um, I would shoot the basketball, make a few shots on him. he say... Yeah, that was cool, but can you do it can you, again? Can you keep doing Yeah, keep you it know, up. <laughs> like, I got an A on my report card. You say, okay, that was cool, but can you do for it sure, again? For sure, for you know? sure. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. I, and I think we run away from consistency out of fear that we, you know, I think he knew who I was, but I didn't mm -hmm. know who I was. Mm -hmm. So he was looking at the, the John that he knew that I could be. Mm -hmm. um, but for I was sure. just kept looking at, Oh man, you should just be happy because what I made, I, I, made, I made one. Nah, I made you know one. <laughs> you know, it switched. It was right. <laughs> you know, uh -huh. so I think, I think a lot of times we, I think like we've been discussing, me and Will have been discussing this pretty much all week. That the grand focus of this topic, consistency, deals with identity. Mm -hmm. Like you, you have to kind of know who you are in order to be consistent at. Anything you sure. want to do good. Mm -hmm. Anything. Yep. Um, I think we're always, like you said, I think, um, was it yesterday you said? Um, we're all being consistent at something. Right. One thing or another. <laughs> One thing or another, we're being consistent at something. Mm -hmm. It's just finding the right areas of where we want to create good 
consistency. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Good Absolutely. habits. For sure. You know? For sure. For sure. Um, I didn't know until this year it took 21 days to create a good habit. Oh, like, yeah. It takes 21 mm -hmm. days in order for your body to know yeah. that this is good for you. Mm -hmm. And I got I feel I thought about that hard and said, what am I what have I done for twenty one days consistently? What, have what habits anything? do I have? Yeah. You know, for and, sure. and, and we gotta think about our habits. Mm -hmm. Um, because those are the things that proceed us when it even, you know, spirituality, um, basketball, yeah, anything. Everything. You're mm -hmm. a great basketball player. <laughs> I'm not a great basketball player. Why? <laughs> right, that's not what I'm trying. Yeah. Because you're consistent. Right. Because right. yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like if I wanted to be good at what you were doing. You'd have to be try to be consistent. Right. I would have to try right. to be consistent. For sure. But even for go, sure. Go to the next question. Um but like bouncing off of that, he he isn't consistent because this is what you choose what you're gonna be consistent at based on how you identify yourself. So that's not the tug. You know what I'm saying? That's not what he's not choosing. Like when I was young, that was like my Id identity. Like mm -hmm. our sports. Mm -hmm. Like that was, so that was something I put my time in. And so that's what we talking about this week is, is you choosing to put yourself in a spot mm -hmm. that you're going to, that you're going to commit to being consistent because mm -hmm. you believe in becoming that person, right? And so you feed into that identity, yep. right? And so his his identity was something else at the time. Mine was sports, so I gave into sports. It, it doesn't it doesn't mean that he should have been a part of sports. But what we talking about this week is the idea that I'm sure everybody who's on here right now has. Uh, or, or, or has maybe not 100%, but we've all, in a way, dedicated our lives to Christ, right? Mm -hmm. And so this isn't a matter, like like me wanting to play basketball and him not, that's a matter of preference, mm -hmm. right? And so in this situation, this isn't a preferential kind of thing, right? So what we're talking about is if this is what we want to do, if this is what we signed up for, like, if we signed up to be the catalyst for change and to be the people who would show God's characteristics and how he loved and how he dealt with people, then that's what we're here for. And that's what we are here to build our consistency and, and to build that endurance to become more uh, consistent in. And so that's we're, we're, that's what we're committing to. Um, Let me jump in right here. I, that, man. I think that's... A great point that he brings because you know before that we before we start before we accept Christ we're not we don't know how to consistent consistently love him right we don't know that yeah we have to learn to do that yeah. kind of we gotta like Will said we gotta kind of put our time into that mm -hmm. we gotta think about okay what am I putting my time in in sure. order to do the things that I want mm -hmm. like I gotta think about those things yeah. if I'm putting my time over here um, and I'm I'm consistently doing the things that I used to do in my older life. Oh yeah. But mm -hmm. when I accept Christ in my new life, I have to change, change. my habits for sure. Absolutely. I gotta change. I gotta Absolutely. change myself. So mm -hmm. if I didn't pray before I, you know, learn Christ, mm -hmm. I gotta learn how to pray now. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I gotta kind of develop that because right. in any relationship, you gotta learn the partner. Mm -hmm. You gotta learn them. You gotta learn Talk what they John. want. Mm -hmm. You got to find yes, out sir. what they want. I mean, we done been in relationships. If For we don't sure. know what they want, <laughs> going to be boy. tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going to be sure. tough. For All sure. singles in these For streets, sure. you better learn your partner, <laughs> please. <laughs> learn yes, them. Learn them. Mm -hmm. Learn what they like. And mm -hmm. going to what you always say, you got to care about what other people care For about. Sure. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. and I think that's on, on one phase, that's... That's that's horizontal. Uh, what like pastors say, horizontal. Mm -hmm. But then we gotta care about other what other people mm -hmm. care about vertically. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. and 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 Christ, and we gotta figure out those things. And how do we figure out those mm -hmm. things? It's going to this word and For figure sure. out what he wants. Mm -hmm. But and and that's the thing about Christ. He's not like. Uh, Sometimes, you know, our girlfriends or stuff like that. We don't got nothing. He got it all written out for us, you yeah. know? Uh -huh. <laughs> he got it all written out. Uh huh. We got to kind of like find, you know. Yeah, you got to do some investigating. Man. <laughs> you know, a little trial and error. Trial and error. Yeah, you yeah. Know, it's, but, it's tough. Uh-huh. You know? But like you say, like the, 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 the seemingly simple part. Mm-hmm. 
is that it's here. Like it's it's there for us. We can see how he did things, mm -hmm. and we can literally just do it and follow it. <laughs> yes. I don't have to. Uh, I don't have to guess. Mm -hmm. I don't have to. You know, maybe he would have done this. Mm -hmm. Like what we saw, and what we read about what what he did, mm -hmm. what he actually did was go the extra mile every time, right. regardless. Right. Whether the circumstance changed or became uncomfortable, or uh, it, it became uh, something that was was going to bring him tension, seeming uh, regardless of what his natural personality might have been, every instance of God loving never had a boundary. Mm -hmm. It it never had a uh, but I can't do this. Yeah. Or. And everybody, he is no condition. Any story you see in the mm -hmm. Bible of people who have given, who have fed into, mm -hmm. like we talked about David yesterday, people who bought into what Jesus was about, they were the same way, mm -hmm. same way. There was no, they became courageous enough to do the craziest mm -hmm. things, all in the name of loving like him, right? Mm -hmm. And so, what we've been talking about is the fact that. Um, we we like to do a lot of things. Uh, we commit to doing things that have uh, uh, easy metrics day to day, so we can see the results for things for certain things that are happening day by day. And those are the things we tend to stick to. Um, but but things that um, take some time that we can't measure. The quote we've been using this week was by C.S. Lewis: "The the day by day, nothing seems to change. But over time, when you look back, you realize that everything's different." And and that's and that's just wisdom. Right. Like that's that's wisdom. A lot of the best things that you want out of your life are gonna take some some sight, some some long, uh, some resolve, some some uh, looking f for way past right now. Mm -hmm. And and I think until we can we get to that point where where we can we can see further than what my saying. What's up? To John, mm -hmm. what right in front of these everybody watching right now, what that means to the general public. If we can get past that and see what what that means, long lasting, long term, um, that's that that will be that's where we want to be. And so, John, I want to ask you, right, as a as a business owner, right, mm -hmm. uh, tell me tell me a little bit about you know Son oh, of Man. Well, I got this brand called Son of Man. Mm -hmm. at, not S O N, but S U N, Son of Man. Um, we got the shirts on right now. Mm -hmm. um, I launched that last year, um, mm -hmm. around this uh, around this time. Um, it's been going pretty great. Uh, it's truly, truly, truly been a blessing. Um, just shot a national TV commercial for the Crazy. for this uh, brand that's going to be playing in three different markets: Connecticut, New Jersey, and New York. Crazy. Um, on six different networks: BET, VH1. Ooh. All that. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be pretty dope. Mm -hmm. um, and I think just the general purpose of this brand is to spread, uh, to make. I think a lot of brands, uh, Christian brands, make God known, but I want to make Jesus known in the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think introducing them through these shirts and through the verses will be a great way to introduce who sure. Christ is to the mm -hmm. world. Um, and I think that puts things in a, a specific area of who yeah. I want to put my trust in and who I want to put my belief in. And mm -hmm. kind of we're doing exactly what he says. We're being salt and light in the earth. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's what the brand's general overall grand scheme purpose is. So rocking it. He over there rocking <laughs> it. The, the OG uh, <laughs> rock, rocking that one. Um, but yeah, that's what that that's what it is okay. um, for us. And, and so... What I think was interesting, though John is an interesting person, just without a whatever, we could not have, we might not have needed a topic today, and we'd have been good having John here. Mm -hmm. We'd have been, we'd have been set. Um, but I know, I know John, and and through the the beauty of John and, and this topic in general is that, in specific is that, John right now is not is operating in a place, me and him both. But I, we're we're both operating in a place that I'm sure 
maybe two years ago, mm -hmm. uh, neither one of us thought um, we'd be. Mm -hmm. I never thought I'd be sitting in front of any amount of people talking. I talked to the young people in our class a lot about, I was so crazy. I dropped a class because I had to give a presentation. Like, it, I, I've done some stupid stuff in the name of not doing what I'm doing right now. Mm. Um, and and so, I know John, and and coming from where he's come from, being who he was, maybe just as soon as two years ago, and what he's doing right now, it's taken a change in his consistency. True. Right? Yes. And, and so... If you could, John, just talk talk a, a little bit about Nigeria. what has what changed that made you commit to becoming a person that was different from your what was just in you, what you felt was you. I think I think this is going to sound. Uh, I think I found I found out that my ident like my identity was mm -hmm. worth it. Like, mm -hmm. I found out that I'm worth being someone. Okay. I'm worth being mm -hmm. someone. I think that's 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 yeah. really, really what it was. Mm -hmm. Like, I was a follower. I didn't know who to follow. I, I just was following anybody that I yeah. thought that could give me something. Mm. Who Whoever sounded like they had some wisdom yeah. or they had a walk, I uh -huh. just went right behind them. Mm. And I think finding that my identity was worth it. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, it, it, that's that that that's truly like yeah. what it was. Like my I like being a leader, mm -hmm. having um having these attributes, being confident, being yeah. bold, having energy, worshiping mm -hmm. God, all that stuff is worth doing. Yeah. Like it it means something. Yeah. And I didn't understand that before receiving him. I yeah. think a lot of us will say uh, finding your purpose and all of those things are what you want to do when you find Christ. I think yeah. I think people have to realize that your purpose your purpose is worth it. Like it's Ooh. really really worth you going out and getting that. It's really going out yeah. and get like mm -hmm. I'm worth every like what God has for me is just I'll take that. Mm -hmm. Like it means something. It's mm -hmm. almost like a direct deposit on a Friday Man. that just happened this morning. Like, like you like that feeling like, dang, yes, sir. that's in my pocket. <laughs> like I got that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh -huh. Like that's, that's really what I found. And once I found out that it was worth it, yeah. that's when everything, the prayer changed, like mm. the worship changed, like the speech changed, like okay. the self-control changed, like everything became like, Hey, this is time to go get it. It's time to go get it. Because yeah. I know that there's something on the other side for me. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I, I know that. Mm -hmm. Because God for is sure. just, he, he's showing me that. Mm -hmm. I think before, you just didn't know anything that you were worth before. You mm -hmm. felt worthless. You didn't know. Facts. You just was trying to put your worth into anything. So you yeah. put your worth into women and mm -hmm. laying in each other's, you know, all these beds every yeah. night. and Or you put your worth into gambling because you right. thought your money was what you were supposed to be mm -hmm. and all these other things. Yep. You thought before, okay, wh whatever it is, like you just thought that this was the thing that I need to be committed to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when I realized this, like, that's not, that's there's nothing in that. That, yeah. that stuff is empty. Yeah. Like, right. Empty voids, mm -hmm. and I think I think what becoming getting in Christ and mm -hmm. becoming really committed to this journey, I, I really really feel that like it really just became worth it. Mm -hmm. Like I just felt that. That's big. Y'all better be taking notice, <laughs> man. Um, because and, and I man I agree one hundred percent because I I think for me um what what happened is I started to. And I, I mean, I've always cared about people, but I, I never really put the uh, onus on my... So, and so my thing has been backwards, right? And so where we talked about this week where um, a lot of us do things in the open, right? So I can... I could... This is a little crazy. I can fool y'all. Like, if I want to, I, I can fool because my thing is to do... Uh, the good when it's what's comfortable for me is to do the good in the darkness, right? <laughs> right. So I could I could fool y'all by saying, you know, but if y'all see me in the hallway, y'all see me like 
talking like we talked earlier. I'm talking to a little a kid in the hallway, mm -hmm. and like that's what I that's what I love, right? But what I don't love is uh you know pray like I feel that tension like that uh, praise and worship, right? When it's Ooh. when it's time like and so we used er early in the week where like in front of people. We tend to make that the the bad, you know. That's what everybody loves to do. But I hate, you know, I hate to do that. But the benefit for for me, what what when, when fruit started to come from my life, it, it happened when I started to do more things out in the open, right? Mm. And so mm. that started to mean things for for people who mm. were up, who were watching me, who because what what I realized was that. There is always a segment of people waiting for you mm -hmm. to get to. That's what we talked last time. I talked about um, we were talking about like working out of our fears and 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 stepping out of our, our our normal like our little boxes. And there's a segment of people waiting. There's a segment of people who were banking on John becoming who he is right now. And and I think just like John was saying, you don't know. Um, you you not understanding your identity, you will fool yourself into thinking that you don't have that in you. Mm. That people's mm. lives are not tied to you elevating, to you getting mm. to the next level, right? And so, for me, right, I felt it happened one time. I was at my look at one of my cousins. I think he was turning like nineteen or something, and I I. At his birth, I wasn't doing, I knew what I wanted, I should be doing, but I wasn't doing it. I was dragging my feet, and he turned 19 or 20, and I, we were going around as a family, going around talking about, oh man, you know, saying good words about uh, the, my cousin, and I just broke down crying, because in that, in that moment, I realized that I measured my life so much of, of, based on where he is. Right. And so once I decided to connect my life and my growth to the the lives of people around me, um, it made all the difference and it made me want to be consistent in doing certain things. Um, and, and that's that's what I think that some of us are missing that tug because we decide to live our life like it's not what we talked about earlier in the week, like it's not an attached accumulation. Mm -hmm. Of, of decisions and, and choices and influences, right? And so you are influencing all the time. And and I think, like what John was saying, your purpose is worth it. True. When you, yeah. when you, when you start to become who you're supposed to become, your, things will line up. Other people's lives attach to the, every, everything aligns itself. Right. And and I think what we're doing right now is we're kind of going against the grain, wanting consistency and wanting the fruit of that consistency. You know, so let me hear one more. Uh, do that, man. I think I think like I think sometimes when we look at our lives, sometimes I, I always go to me and me and Will did this thing of. You know, when we're walking in consistency, we're usually we hit everything that he's talked about this week. We hit momentum, we hit pace, mm -hmm. we hit all that mm -hmm. because that's what consistency breeds. Right. Like that's what it breeds. But when we don't do those things, mm -hmm. and we and we're and we're outside of that, yeah. we feel lost for sure. When you don't wake up and pray, and you don't wake up and read your word, when you don't get your worship in, when you don't get your coffee in, when you don't do that, mm -hmm. like that's a part of all yeah, your routine. routine. Mm -hmm. If you don't, if you go against your routine, you're not going to get the results that you want. Mm -hmm. it's, it, you're not. Your day is going to uh, uh, go differently. And our pastor did this wake up with the word so that we can find a routine. Mm -hmm. Just to find a routine. Yeah. So it would behoove me or anyone else who's tuning in. You already going to get on Facebook. Facts. You're going to be here. Yeah. <laughs> you, gotta, you should tune in right. mm -hmm. to get your routine. Yeah. That's just one example of it. Mm -hmm. But you have to find your routine. I know my grandfather, uh, my aunt is on here too, so she can attest hey. to this. Um, literally every single morning when I live with them, this guy will wake up 
every single morning and he would make breakfast sandwiches. He would have them things ready at 5.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. My grandmother would wake up and she would get me ready. And she would do the same thing. She would get her books out mm -hmm. and she would have all those things ready and she would find a book for me to read to her mm -hmm. every single morning before I went to work. Yeah. Before we because we went to school together. Mm -hmm. We would do that every single morning. Why were we doing like I didn't understand why this woman I'm trying had to be a was, different yeah. book every single right. day. Uh -huh. But she had a I mean, and my grandfather was it was rigid every day. Mm -hmm. You could find them doing that. Mm -hmm. And I and, and I think that it goes to your great point where you said on Monday, where can you be found? Mm -hmm. Where can you be found? Yeah. Where can the Christians can be found? Where can the lovers be found? Mm -hmm. Well, I know where the ballers can be found. <laughs> we knew where we could find you before, but For now sure. I might not see you there no yeah. more because your identity isn't over there. For anymore. sure. Sure. Like it's not over there. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be with the young people. It's mm -hmm. gonna be on the guitar. It's gonna be yeah. talking to the people. And mm -hmm. where's your? I where where are you? Where can you be found? Yeah. And I I gotta you gotta think about that on the church level. You gotta think about that not only just at church, but this starts during your week. Like mm -hmm. your habits for everything that you do that that you do at church or anything that you want to do that you heard at church, it comes through your week. Mm -hmm. It comes through your daily, your six days. That's mm -hmm. where it comes from. Mm -hmm. When you ask me a question like, how did I become here? It didn't It didn't start at church. Right. It, it, it started on the ground. Like right. it, it literally started on the ground. So we talked about this week, top speed. You didn't hop in there, top I just, speed. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't hop on, try to hop in on the church scale and <laughs> see pastor worship. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do that too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I can't sustain that on my own. Because that's an act. Mm. That's an act. Like that's I, I. I think a lot of us sometimes we try to, like you said, like we try to kind of. I'm an actor, right? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> how, for sure, I yes. can fool you, mm -hmm. and yep. I think we've been fooling uh, a lot of people. But God said, "You're not fooling yourself. You're not. You're, you're not fooling. You know. Yeah. You know. You're fooling yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you're not. You're. You're not where you want to be. Because when you get home. When you get home, you feel it. You oh god, you feel everything. Mm -hmm. You feel everything. You you know that I, I got a a crazy when, when you was upstairs. I got this crazy scripture. I, it's, <laughs> it's 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 crazy. Mm -hmm. It's kind of talking about everything that yeah. you like. <laughs> Paul Paul yes. was he was consistent at killing Christians before he knew Christ. Mm -hmm. He knew that. He knew everything about it. Mm -hmm. and then after that. When he fell off that horse, he became consistent in knowing Christ. Mm -hmm. People knew that. They knew where yeah. they knew where Paul was going to be. Right. They knew that. And right. I think what he says is, is 1 Corinthians uh, 9, verses 19. I'm going to read through verses uh, 19 through 27. It's Listen to this. It talks about what you were talking about. Though I am free and belong to no one, I have made mm -hmm. myself a slave to everyone. To win as many people as possible. To the Jews, I became like a Jew. To win the Jews. To those under the law, I became like one under the law. Though myself, I am not under the law. Mm. So as to win those under the law. To those not having the law, I became one not having the law. Though I am free from God's law, but I am under Christ's law. Yeah. So as to win those, mm -hmm. win those not having the law. Mm -hmm. To the weak. I became weak yes, to win the weak. Mm -hmm. I have become all these things to people so that be so that I became all these things to people so that by it, oh sorry. Good, dude. I became all these things to people so that by all by all possible means I have some. I do all this for the sake of the gospel that I might share his blessings. My favorite verse 24. Do you not know that that in a race all runners run? But only one gets the prize. Mm -hmm. Run in such a way to get the prize. Everyone that competes in games goes to strict training. Mm -hmm. Though do it in it, though they do it for a crown that will not last. But we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Right. Yes, Therefore, sir. if I do yes, not sir. run like someone running aimlessly, yeah. I do not. I do not fight like a boxer beating air. Right. No, I strike a blow to my body and make it. My slaves, yeah. so that after I preach to others, mm -hmm. I myself will not feel disqualified for this prize. Jesus. Bam! <laughs> 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 I 
That's it. Yo. That's it. Caring about what other... What? Caring about... Paul, you said it. Caring about what other people care about. Paul said, I'm going to be a slave to, right. to what other people care about. Jesus. Think that's... That's serious, He said, man. remember my chains, man. <laughs> and so... So what... Are you willing... Like, as we... Paul was... He was willing to become whatever... Ever. Whatever he was, whatever he wasn't, whatever he didn't feel like was him, what he Whew. what he never could have imagined was him, mm. he was willing to put, not just to think of himself there, but to put himself there all for the, for the glory of God. Whew. And in the name of, of of loving people, and so yeah. we're not gonna wrap y'all up for too much long. But that's that's it, man. Y'all want the, the crux of this whole thing? Rewind, listen to that verse one more. <laughs> like listen to it over and over because that's Get that's that the, in your that's spirit. the heart. That's, that's the heart of what we're talking about. Um, we used to do memory verses way back in Sunday school. This is a memory verse. Yeah. This is a proclamation. Put this on. Y'all got um, stuff on your wall to get from Ikea, those little posters and stuff like that. That whole that, that whole thing. section, that needs to be a mantle. Yeah. Like, it needs to be something that you put over your bed. Because when you find, if, if any one of these people right on, on this on the, on the live right now struggle with identity, mm -hmm. this is it. This is what you have to mm -hmm. find. When Paul found his identity in Christ. Yeah. Good. Curtains. You know where to be found. <laughs> Curtains. So, my prayers out, we go. Yes, sir. Lord, we thank you right now for this time, Lord God. Mm -hmm. We thank you for having something worth waiting on, Lord yes. God. We, we, we thank you for having something, so a prize that's eternal and nothing that's fading away. It's not like a lottery ticket. Mm. It's nothing like we can't obtain or sustain, oh yeah. God, without you. It's something that you have prepared for us. Mm -hmm. You've seasoned for us, yes, oh God. God. And I just thank you for everything that you continue to do through us, Lord God. Mm -hmm. We thank you for when we do find our consistency, we hit that momentum. Mm -hmm. We hit the pace. Yes, we so. push and we go forward and we fight towards the place of where we want us to go. So I thank you mm -hmm. for putting two opposites mm -hmm. on uh, at the table, yes. but making them uh, whole. You know, mm -hmm. I, I just thank you for that. You, you're the only one that could take two opposites mm -hmm. and bring them together and make them whole, yes. Lord God. And I thank you for that. And I want people to know, Lord God, that you can do that, Lord mm -hmm. God. They might not know that you are capable of this, but God, we are living witnesses <laughs> of bringing right, opposites together, mm -hmm. Lord God. So I thank you for that. I praise you for that. That was your goal to bring the lost and to, you, to the found, Lord God, mm -hmm. to bring healing to the lost, Lord God. And I thank you for that. I thank you for our freedom mm -hmm. and I pray for everyone else's freedom as they as they travel throughout their day mm -hmm. and their Friday, Lord God. I pray for them as they travel through their week. I thank you for everything they continue to do and they learn your words so they can know who they are. Mm -hmm. I praise you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank y'all for tuning Yo! in. Yo! Bam! Oh. <laughs> y'all have a great week. Weekend. Bam. Weekend. <laughs>